Welcome back, kids. You know, I was up really early this morning, and every year I get a certain amount of people that want the same toys. Chester was out there this morning helping me, and so I thought maybe we could draw Peppa Pig today. All right? Seems to be a big request at Christmas time. So let's go over to my easel, and I'll show you how to draw Peppa Pig. Here we are back at the easel again, kids. You know, like I said before, I've been doing a lot of Peppa Pig toys for the kids for Christmas this year. Chester mentioned, why don't you try to draw Peppa Pig for the kids? I said, sure, you know what, that's a great idea. And it goes right back to the lessons that I've been teaching all the time. You know, Peppa Pig is a very popular cartoon. And a lot of cartoons use my favorite circles. And Peppa Pig is pink. And I'm going to draw with a pink marker today. Okay? Now, if you have pencil crayons, I'm going to use pencil crayons on Peppa because we don't want her to be a real dark pink. Okay? And you'll see what I mean. But it's a real good idea to use this dark pink for the outline of her. All right, so first of all, we're going to draw a bit of a circle right here, just like this. We're just going to come up here, but you know what? We're not going to finish our circle. We're just going to draw one just like that. Okay. So this is part of her face. You know, pigs got a nose on them, don't they? It's called a snout. And we're going to draw that snout just like this. We're going to come off our circle. We're going to come up like this. Okay. And we're just going to come back down and around to our circle. So this is the snout of Peppa. All right. So on the end... This is the flat part of her nose. Peppa's eyes are right here. Just going to do a couple circles like this. Some ears on her. Just up like that. There we go. One there. One here. Why don't we give her a nice big smile? Just like that. And while we've got our dark pink out, let's give her a nice rosy cheek. Ho, 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 ho. What do you think, Chester? You haven't fallen asleep on me yet. You know, you asked me to draw Peppa. So you keep watching and don't you close your eyes. All right? So let's give Peppa a little circle here for a nice rosy cheek. Now we got her head drawn, okay? What we'll do, we're going to take a pink pencil crayon, and we're just going to color her in because we don't want her to be too dark, do we? Just going to color her in like this. Over the whole thing. Just make sure you keep her eyes open, okay? Just go around like this. Because, you know, pigs do have a pink tinge to them, don't they? Okay. There you go. So now we're going to take our blue marker. We're just going to put two little dots right in the middle of our eyes. There's one there. One there. Okay. So now we got Peppa's blue eyes. Then we're going to take our black marker. And this is the end of her nose. And we're just going to put a couple little circles right here. Okay. There we go. Now we have Peppa's face. Let's take our red 
and draw the outline of Peppa's dress. Okay, and that just comes down just like this, just like this, and across like this. So now that we've got a nice outline, let's take a red pencil crayon and we'll color that in too. We'll color that in. Maybe a nice solid. You know, kids, I find if you use the side of your pencil crayon, it just covers a little bit faster. Just like that. Okay. You can color this in. If you've got a nice bright red marker, you could even use that if you wanted to. I like to use pencil crayons once in a while when I got big areas like this. Or you can even use crayons if you have them. Okay, so there's Peppa's dress. Let's take our marker again, our pink marker. What's Peppa got here? Little curly tail coming out the end, doesn't she? Okay. okay, just like that. There you go. What about her hands and her arms? You can just come out like this on each side. There's her arms. And at the end of her arms are her fingers. And you know what? On Peppa, let's just give her three fingers, just like this. Okay. There you go. Now, what do you say we give her some feet, okay? And that just comes straight down like this. There's her feet. And maybe we'll take that blue again. Remember the blue that we used for her eyes? And we're just going to do a nice little straight fat line just like that. Now we have her feet. All right, got her blue shoes on. Now we're going to spell her name underneath. And you know what? There's a lot of P's in her name. So we have Peppa, P-E-P-P-A. There's five letters in her first name. And her last is P-I-G. So there's three more. That's five and three are eight, okay? And it's two different words. Let's do our lines in the blue, though. So we have five letters in the word Peppa. P, 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 A. And the word pig, and this is another word. P, I, G. Peppa. So it's P, E, P, P, A. Okay, now that we got the blue here too, let's do the word pig in blue. All right, so we're going to go P, I, G. Peppa Pig. And look at how colorful that is. Ho, 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 You know, Santa likes lots of color when I make my toys. And Peppa's pretty bright, isn't she? Just like I always tell you, kids, at the end of this, always sign your name. Always want everybody to know who did that picture, don't we? So we're going to come down through here.
Just like that. Peppa Pig. <laughs> well, kids, you know that means I've got to go build some toys. So I just want to remind you, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Always be kind and always believe in yourself, okay? Be good. Till next time.